dreams Build it to my future self I send a letter to me Steal it with my dreams Build it to my future self And I hope that it will find me well Hope it's everything I want it to be I send a letter to me Steal it with my dreams A letter to my say yeah Love Nan Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming a Weight Watcher Friendly's grocery haul. Um, we are getting ready to head out the door and head to Walmart for our grocery pickup and then I will come back home and share everything with you all. All right guys, I am back from the grocery store and let me just tell you, this turned into a massive haul. So buckle up and get ready. You may wanna grab a snack. you propped up the best that I can in my cupboard here I'm gonna go through everything as you can see from the clip before this there is a ton of food here basically my mindset in this haul was I'm really buckling down on my Weight Watchers and I wanted to make sure that I had Weight Watcher friendly options for almost everything in the house that way there's no excuses for me um, I won't be going over my points because if I want ranch, I've got a Weight Watcher friendly ranch. If I want bread, there's a Weight Watcher friendly bread. All right, so diving right in, um, I do have a bag of tater tots here. I just realized I did get the wrong one. This one is not that Weight Watcher friendly. I think it's about six points. Um, I got this for a tater tot casserole. Um, so depending on the breakdown of that, it may be okay Weight Watchers wise. I don't know. I would probably just adjust my points the day that I'm making this casserole. Uh, the next thing I got was diced hash brown potatoes. These are perfect for breakfast. These are zero points. I am on the purple plan. Um, I think I said that earlier in the video, but if not, I'm on the purple plan. Uh, potatoes are zero and these ones are zero points. So this is perfect for breakfast. The next thing I got were the sweet potato fries from Alexia. I can make my own sweet potato fries just as easy, but... Um, well, not just as easy, but I mean, it takes a little bit longer. So sometimes though, convenience wise, this just works out better for me. So I decided to pick up a bag just to have on hand. Um, I can't remember the points on that. Uh, I will put them on the screen. Uh, this is the eight ounce chicken and apple sausage. I saw this from another YouTuber on here who is doing Weight Watchers, um, that this is really good point wise. Um, so I picked up that. Then um, I picked up some ground chicken and some ground turkey. This one is the 93.7. Um, I think it's about three or four points a serving. So super good um, compared to like ground beef. The ground chicken I think might be even lower. It might be zero points on the purple plan because chicken is zero. I'm not sure, um, but I'll let you know. The next thing is like a little guilty pleasure. It is not Weight Watcher friendly. So, so sorry for putting this in here, but this is the Cir Circus Cookie Ice Cream. Um, I saw someone post about this on Instagram and I had to get it. I've been wanting to get that blizzard from Dairy Queen. That's the like animal cookie blizzard. And I heard that this is very comparable. So I went ahead and just picked this up. My daughter is going to have a field day over this. She loves like anything pink sparkly. And that's exactly what this packaging is. So she will love this. Um, the next thing I got was unsweetened almond milk. Um, I use this in my smoothies. My daughter also drinks this milk and uses it in her cereal. Um, we just love almond milk. My husband um, does drink cow's milk, so sometimes we have that as well. Um, the next thing is some zesty Italian dressing. This is actually for a pasta salad I'm making for Memorial Day, so this is not like a regular staple that I use. I don't even know what the points are like on this, so... And then for my daughter, I just got her some go -Gurts here. She loves these quick snacks. She can grab it herself. Um, and then I had to move over to the next countertop to show you the rest. Okay, so this is like my refrigerated items and produce. I got a bag of Fuji apples. Great zero point snack. I like to pair that with some powdered peanut butter. Or if I have the points for it, I'll use regular peanut butter too. Um, I have two avocados. Avocados are pretty high in points, um, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes I just want some avocado toast, and I'll just adjust my points accordingly. That's the best part of Weight Watchers is you can pretty much make anything fit in your points. So there's that. And then I have two Roma tomatoes in here. I have a red pepper and a green pepper. I'll eat the, use these, um, eat them, and dip them in um, this avocado cilantro avocado dressing that I got that's super Weight Watcher point friendly um, or for a recipe. 
and then I got some red onion. I got this block of cheese. Um, it's not really Weight Watcher friendly. Um, it's for the pasta salad. I am having a cheat day, if you will. I'm going into my weeklies for my Memorial Day meal. Um, so I picked this up for that pasta salad. Normally, I have been liking the Velveeta slices. Those are only one point. Um, or like a fat-free cheese um, is zero points, like up to a fourth of a cup. So I'll tend to gravitate towards those cheeses for anything that I'm making. Um, then I got some plain Greek yogurt and let's see I think this is the yep the zero percent fat that's the kind of like just double checking um I got some green grapes here so these I got I've been seeing everywhere where people put the sugar-free lime jello mix on top of their frozen green grapes and it tastes like sour patch kids so I'm gonna try that that's gonna be such a good like little snack I think that that will only be like zero or one point so super excited to try that the next thing I got was turkey pepperoni. This is something that I love. Um, I will put it on these little flatbreads that I got that I'll show you later. I'm gonna make a little pizza. Um, this will be, sometimes I'll just eat this as a snack with like a light string cheese and it's like a three point snack. I think for two points you can have like 15 or so of these pepperonis, it's awesome. Um, the next thing that I got was strawberries. We just like to have berries on hand. My daughter loves them as well. And then I got the ultra thin black forest ham for sandwiches. I'm not sure what the points are on this. All these lunch meats, their points are so, so different. So you really just, if you have the app, just scan it and check. I will put it up on the screen what it is though. And then again, for Memorial Day and just for sandwiches and things, I got some hamburger dill pickles on the sandwich like cut ones. So these will be perfect for my sandwiches. So those are zero points. Um, let's see what else we've got okay so obviously memorial day watermelon cookout picnic you gotta have it um also such a good filling snack super low calorie zero points um okay so this is not weight watchers friendly at all but there is one thing i will not i will not give up and that is my coffee and so I really love the Starbucks white chocolate creamer. Um, this is the white chocolate mocha creamer. So I did get two of these because they actually have been selling out lately and I haven't been able to track them down. They actually canceled out of my Walmart pickup grocery. Um, so I had to go searching for them and I found them at Giant Eagle, thankfully. Um, so I got those. I'm completely out of coffee creamer. So I was going nuts. I couldn't even have my coffee this morning because um, I will not drink black coffee. I just won't, okay? Um, the next thing I got was uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Whipped Topping. I found this from Justin's Journey on here. I think that's her name. I'll link her down below. I love watching her videos, but she put me on to this. Um, so I think it's one point for two tablespoons of this. And then she likes to have it on a chocolate rice cake. And this is two points. So for three points, it's like the soup, like the best sweet treat snack. So I'm super excited to have these back in my cupboard. All right, and then I also got some light and fit Greek yogurt. I just got two key limes and two strawberry cheesecake. Um, I have not had these before, but um, I saw a couple different, pe different people on here. I think Felicia um, was eating these as well. So I got those, and then we've got to go to the next counter. All right, Bear on this me. counter um, is my frozen stuff. I've got some sliced peaches. I'm gonna make a peach cobbler for Memorial Day dessert, so I've got those. Um, this I saw on YouTube. I cannot remember who shared this, but this is Cotto. It's um, an avocado-based ice cream. Um, so I got the deep dark chocolate to try. I'm super excited about this. Um, kind of similar to like a halo top type thing, but it's made with avocado. Um, and then I got two halo tops. I got strawberry cheesecake. Um, and then I got a vanilla to go on top of our peach cobbler. Then I got three bags of frozen broccoli. I like just buying frozen broccoli rather than fresh. Um, every time I get fresh broccoli, it goes bad so quickly. And I just love to have like frozen veggies on hand. Um, I saw these from a couple different people on YouTube. I've never had these before, but I think they're like three points. Um, these Healthy Choice Simply Steamers. I got the beef and broccoli, and then I got the meatball marinara. I'm super excited to try these. It'll be a really simple lunch, especially when I'm working from home and I, I um, don't have that much time. So I'll just pop one of those in. Um, I like to keep uh, Tyson grilled chicken on hand. So these are already cooked. These are the breasts. Sometimes I'll get the strips, but I like to keep these on hand. I'll use them on sandwiches or in wraps, things like that. I'm just, I'm all about quick food. Then I got a bag of frozen chicken breasts. 
These are zero points on purple. And then I got some of these sparkling waters. Uh, this is tangerine mango. Um, and this flavor I heard about, I think from Justin's journey as well, this orange and cream. She claims it tastes like a cream sickle kind of deal, um, like orange cream soda. So I'm super excited to try that one out. I um, mean, these are zero points as well. And then, so I got another orange cream and then I got a key lime. All right. And then I got some Clorox wipes because, you know, we're in a pandemic. Got to get them when they're in stock. Um, this is for my husband. He loves lemonade. Mixing it with sweet tea, he'll get like a thing from Chick-fil-A, the pitcher of their sweet tea, and just mix it with lemonade and make his own Arnold Parmos. Um, and then I already showed you this. So moving on, these two are for our cookout, just some hamburger and hot dog buns. I'm not sure point-wise what these are like, but I'll let you know. This I have not tried before, but this um, I'm going to make a pizza. I think I saw it on Ashley's channel. I'll leave her below. Um, but she made a pizza, and I think she was using this. Um, I'll let you know how many points these are on the screen. But this is what I'm going to have for lunch today. I'm super excited about this. Um, and then moving over to the snacky items. First, let's start with some cans. I'm just restocking on some diced tomato and green chili. I have three of those. I just like to keep those on hand, and I'm completely out right now. I got some olives for our pasta salad. My daughter loves fruit cups, so I got her this cherry mixed fruit in 100% juice. I got these good thins. Um, I saw someone on YouTube, I can't remember who, I've been watching people's um, what I eat in a day's like constantly, and they got these, and it's only three points to have like 40 something of these. Um, and they paired it with their chili, so I got some of these. I got these poppables as well. I think they're only like four or five points for like, I don't know like 15 to 20 of these. I don't know. I will put it on the screen. I probably should have researched that before, but they're super Weight Watcher friendly. I got the creamy jalapeno and the sea salt. Then I just got some hot sauce, the Taco Bell hot sauce. I got some sugar-free jello. I got chocolate. And then I got pistachio. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this or not, but I figured why not try a new flavor. And then I also got vanilla. And then here is that lime yogurt or not yogurt jello um that i'm gonna do for those frozen grapes i just restocked on some honey and then i got these i think they're four points i could be wrong i'll put it on the screen but these fiber one brownies everyone and their mom has been talking about these on um youtube in the weight watcher community so i picked up a mega pack of these just because i'm all about the sweet treats as you can tell from this um, I got some whole wheat spaghetti and whole wheat penne. Those are both zero points. I like to cook with those so I don't have to worry about points and I can still have some pasta. I got some semi-sweet chocolate chips just to keep on hand. And then seasonings. I got some ranch seasoning, Taco Bell seasoning, and chili seasoning. This Taco Bell one I have not had before and I'm not sure what the points are like on this. Seasoning typically is pretty low in points, um, but I heard this one is really, really, really good. So I got that. And then here is the dressing that I was talking about, the Bolt House Farm Cilantro Avocado Yogurt Dressing. Um, this is what I said I would dip my peppers in and things like that. Um, super low in points. I'll put them up on the screen. It has my Walmart sticker on the back. Um, and then this is zero points. It's the G. Hughes Sugar-Free Honey Mustard. We have the barbecue sauce, and it's so good. The sweet and spicy barbecue is amazing. You have to pick it up. Um, so I got the honey mustard to try. And then I just got some spicy brown mustard as Woo. well. I am out of breath from that haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this um, and you got some good ideas for to pick up in your next grocery haul. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this a thumbs up if you liked it. These are super easy videos for me to film, so I'll be more than happy to share some more grocery hauls with you in the future. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys.